As we wait for episode 107, we got some more interesting information about what might happen in episode 108 and I certainly think it's worth taking a quick look. First, we'll go through the most recent reveals as translated by Ken Zyro. He also edited the scan, so thank him for that. Dragon Ball Super Episode 108, Frieza and Frost, Do Evil Comes Together. Frieza's behavior makes Universe 7 feel uneasy. As Tournament of Power gets rougher with time, more and more fighters are eliminated. At the same time, Jimmy's of Universe 2 is giving Gohan a tough fight using his instant transmission and Frieza does nothing but watch? Did Frieza betray Universe 7? As expected, his real motive is… Traitor Frieza? Lots of fighting spirit thanks to the love of Hillis. Meanwhile, the battle between Goku and Ribrian also picks up pace. When the God of Destruction of Universe 2, Hellas, praises Goku, Ribrian feels jealous and begins attacking. So crucial one here, huh? People have been talking about this from the moment Frieza was announced to be a part of it, and specifically about what Frost and Frieza would do. This is an episode to look forward to. The new preview summary doesn't actually confirm that Frieza will betray U7, instead kind of hints and raises the question. But an alternate summary was also posted by Kenzairo a few days ago and it actually confirmed some of the hints given in this one, if that stated information is accurate. Because in the past, sometimes the preview summaries coming in as spoilers was inaccurate. So let's check out the alternate summary. Same title, Frieza goes up to Gohan since he was having a tough fight against the Yadra Jimez. At first, it was assumed that he was there only to defeat Jimez, but then suddenly he announces his betrayals, saying, Frost and I have decided to join hands since we mutually hate the Saiyans. Gohan is suddenly put in a tough situation. So this one has a much confirming tone about Frieza's betrayal. It's confusing, really. There are a lot of factors to be considered. I mean, hell yeah, we all obviously know Frieza can't be trusted and it's pretty much expected from someone like him. However, if Frieza cheats, I don't see where that would leave him. I mean, sure, a universe could hire fighters from another universe and register like that before the battle royale actually began. But in the middle of it, someone just can't switch universes and survive if they win. Like even if Frieza starts attacking Universe 7 fighters, at the end if it came down to it, I bet U6 would have to eliminate him to win. No matter what he does, he came here for Universe 7 and he shouldn't be able to change that. It would not only create misbalance in the number of fighters, but also why wouldn't any universe not join another universe when their one is about to lose, if that was allowed. Meaning if Frieza does turn against Universe 7 and gets them all eliminated, he will be digging his own grave. While I do see Frieza's hatred towards the Saiyans, I don't see him taking himself out to do it. Given he already has a nice deal in place, that if they win, he might get wished back to life. Also, there's one more thing that repulses Frieza, and that is lack of power. Although Frost is cunning, he's quite weak and was defeated by Super Saiyan Vegeta in the last tournament. Considering all that fact, I have a feeling that Frieza might just fake teaming up with Frost and take him out instead. Even if he was to betray, I would expect that to happen at the very end. I don't see what plot purpose it would serve if Frieza betrayal happens this early. I would rather have him do that at the very end when everyone takes it for granted that he isn't cheating this time. That would be much more significant than just exposing his true intentions this early. So yeah, I think Frieza will end up playing Frost. Besides, I remember that Dragon Ball Heroes promo where we saw Frieza helping Goku to fight Jiren. Well, DBH confirms nothing, it has nothing to do with the series, but in the past it did foreshadow major plot points many times. So all this combined, I just feel like Frieza is not gonna be the traitor in this battle because morals aside, he has his self-interest wired with the victory of Universe 7.
But then again, Frieza is one of the most complex characters. You never know what he has in mind. Previously, he even expressed desires of surpassing the role of Beerus. So expect a lot of surprises. I'm keeping it short because we will probably get most of this in the 108 preview pretty soon. Comment your thoughts and opinion down below.